Some more. The gentleman from Maryland is recognized for two minutes. I thank the, uh, the gentleman for yielding. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong opposition to this misnamed bill, which would promote neither democracy nor fairness in the workplace. Now, I have just been on this floor a few minutes, but it is ironic that I've heard speaker after speaker uh, in favor of this bill, but who vote consistently against working men and women's right to organize and bargain collectively. Ironic, perhaps. The right of workers to organize and bargain collectively for better and fairer conditions has been protected by our laws since the era of the New Deal, which was opposed uh, by so many. This legislation is part of an agenda, frankly, that the Republican Party continues to pursue, which no economist believes creates jobs in the coming year. This bill before us won't do anything to help the economy or create jobs, period. And it places obstacles in front of workers seeking to exercise their right to organize. Now, I want to point out to my friends that uh, interestingly enough, in terms of trying to protect elections, there's all about you can't have an election before, but there's nothing in this legislation you have to have an election by. That would perhaps be more credible. If said not sooner than this, but not later than this. That would show that you really wanted to pursue elections for working men and women so they could organize and bargain collectively for pay and benefits and working conditions. But it doesn't say that. It says you simply can't have it before. It never says you have to have it. It never says you can't delay it by suit after suit after suit. It never says you've got to get to issue. It never says you've got to give the employees the right by a certain date. I ask for an additional minute. The gentleman from Maryland is recognized for an additional minute. This bill before us won't do anything to help the economy or create jobs, as I said. I continue to have the strongest faith in the American worker that they are the most talented and most productive in the world. We should not be rolling back their protections. Instead, we should focus on helping to get more Americans back to work. And as for the NLRB, the real trauma is it is now a pro worker and employer NLRB, as opposed to simply a pro-employer NLRB. That's the problem you have. The courts ought to ensure uh, equal treatment. The NLRB ought to assure equal treatment. It has not been doing that for some period of time, and now, in my view, it is. God bless them. That's what they should do. Employers and employees ought to get a fair shake and a fair uh, election. Uh, and I agree with that premise. Timing uh, is obviously uh, of concern to both parties. I would hope we would defeat this bill. And then if we want to talk about assuring elections, Gentleman's time let us expired. do so to protect democracy and protect workers. And I thank the gentleman for yielding his time. The gentleman's time has expired. The general California continues to reserve.